All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to adjust your followers to be resting on top of the cams and to have some motion be added to your automata design. So in order to do so, I'm going to take a look at the slider joint here, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to right click on that and say edit joint, and we're going to take a look to see what would be our measurement. So right now, I got to look at pulling down what would be where the top of the cam would be and where the bottom of the roller is going to make contact with the cam. So right now at negative 1.85, I'm not getting a whole lot of motion or not a lot of um, touching to happen there. If I go down to a negative 1.90, it does look like it starts to touch, but if I hover over the cam, you can start to see it phases in. So I may need to look at adding or taking away a certain amount, so negative 1.88. If I do 1.87, I can still see a little daylight there. So, and if I go 1.89, I'm definitely touching. So I'm gonna go ahead and go 1.88, and that way I can note that, and now the, the follower is gonna be, uh, the roller, I should say, is gonna rest on top of the cam. So I'm gonna keep track of that negative 1.88 for that particular offset. So I'm gonna go ahead and say okay. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to take a look. I can also find it here, slider 26, and I can edit the joint limits. So here I've got a minimum, and I should have a rest. Rest will be at zero. The minimum will be 1.88 inches. And so you may see that drop down, but I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And that's going to see and update that case there. So with that joint limit, if I pull up on this, or if I pull down, it's gonna automatically come back to that point of rest. So zero, and it's gonna automatically come to that offset. So I'm gonna continue to, to do the same thing as I go along to these other two cams. So slider two, 27 I should say. I'm gonna edit the joint. I'm going to grab that arrow. I'm gonna bring it down. So here it's about a negative 2.5. That might be just perfect, actually. And I'm going to go ahead and on slider 27, edit the joint limits. Minimum is going to be a negative 2.5. And the resting position will be at zero. There's where you can see that. And I'm going to say OK. So now the, the roller's down on top of the cam. And I'm going to go ahead and now I'm going to edit slider 28. Say edit joint. Bring it down until it touches the top of the cam. Looks like 1.9 is going to be a little too much. 1.85, it's not enough. So negative 1.87. Looks like there's still a small amount of daylight. Looks like we're going to have more negative 1.88 on this one as well. Editing the joint limit, my minimum, negative 1.88. Resting position at zero, and I'll say OK. So now we have all of our um, rollers resting on top of the cams. If we want to see this animate and, and put into motion, I'll collapse the joints folder. I'm going to go under the assemble tab and I'm going to enable all contact. And when I do so, I should be able to grab my crank handle and now I should be able to see as I turn it, I get some motion that comes from those cams and from this part turning. And that will help us see what kind of motion we have. Again, this works really well with a lot of the standard cams. And, um, but however, some sometimes with depending upon sharp turns or edges or points on a lot of the uh, design cams, it may not work out as well, but this should work somewhat well for what we have. I'm gonna put this back into the home position and now we're ready to start adding some stuff onto the top, whether it be any designed pieces or anything like that that can go on. It can be adjointed and attached, and you're able to see that on top of your automata. So in the next video, we'll kind of look to see what that would look like. And that'll kind of finish out the, the model of your automata.